Hi there. Today, I'm going to show you how to do keyword research in Google Sheets using a free API. The first thing you should do is go to rapidapi.com and search for a keyword research API or an SEO API. Whatever you need to do, Rapid API has an API for that. So if you search, for example, SEO, we can see several uh, SEO related APIs that we can use to do SEO research. Uh, so for this example, I'm going to use this one, SEO keyword research. So if we go to that API, the next thing we want to do is subscribe to it. So on the pricing tab, you can subscribe to the $0 per month plan or any of the paid plans if you wish. After subscribing to one of the plans for this API, next we want to go to the endpoints tab. In the endpoints tab, we can see the possible actions that we can take with this API. So the first endpoint says keyword research, so we can use that to do keyword research. And the second one says global results. I'm not sure exactly what that does, but for this example, let's focus on this keyword research API. So after choosing the endpoint that I want to use, the next thing I'm going to do is come over here and change this to shell curl. This will make it easier for me to see the API URL and headers that I need to enter into Epiphany. So with that said, let's go to our Google Sheet and let's install Epiphany. So if you don't already have Epiphany installed, click Extensions, Add-ons, Get Add-ons, and search for Epiphany, A-P-I-P-H-E-N-Y. You can also go to our website, epiphany.io, and click the Install button there if you wish. After you've installed Epiphany, you'll see it in this extensions dropdown in your Google Sheet. So all you need to do next is click on Epiphany and then import API. After clicking that, the Epiphany add-on will open in your Google Sheet like so. So now we need to enter our API URL and headers into Epiphany. So for this uh, endpoint to do keyword research, we can see that it uses the get method and you can see it says request get right here. So we want to make sure that it says method get at the top of Epiphany. Next, we need to enter our API URL. So here's an example API URL that the API provides for us. So we are going to copy that and head over to Epiphany and paste that in right here. You can see this API URL uses a couple of parameters. The first one is the keyword, which is in this case email marketing. And the second one is the country parameter, which is India. So it's going to search, it's going to do keyword research for email marketing keywords in the country of India. And we can play around with these parameters. If you scroll down right here, you can see the required parameters and you can change the keyword. For example, maybe we want to do Google Sheets and then the country, let's do US. And when you change that, you can see the URL changes, the parameters in our URL change. So the base URL is still the same, but the parameters will be different. So let's copy the new URL and you can see it says Google Sheets and country US. The next thing we need to do before we can make our request is add a couple headers. So I'm going to click add new header twice. And here you can see the two headers that we need to add. The first one is X Rapid API host. So I'm going to copy everything before the colon paste it into Epiphany, and same thing with the second header is XRapid API key. I'm going to copy that and enter it as the key, and we need to enter the two values. The first value is this one, seokeywordresearch.p.rapidapi.com, and the second one is this one, which is our API key. So after you've copied your API URL and headers into Epiphany, now we can make our request. So I'm going to click Run, and then run again. And after waiting a few moments, we can see that we've done keyword research directly in our Google Sheets using uh, the free plan of this API. And we can see the, the keyword in this column, the cost per click in this column, estimated volume, and the competition. 
for this keyword. So I hope that's helpful for you. If you want to do keyword research in Google Sheets, you can feel free to use this API or any of the other APIs in Rapid API. And they, no matter which API you use, it will be the same process. So you'll need to click on the API, go to pricing, subscribe to one of the plans, go back to endpoints, choose one of the endpoints that you want to use, and then get the API URL and headers. So you can see that actually for this API, we have four different headers and we need to use a different URL. So yeah, um, let me know if you have any questions about that and go ahead and play, and play around with the different SEO related APIs in Rapid API. Um, and have a good day. Bye.